Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. We're back at Disneyland Yay! and today is a very exciting day. Very, very, very exciting day because my favorite attraction, well, kind of my favorite attraction, <laughs> uh, a version of it, Haunted Mansion, Holiday has returned very early, uh, kind of uh, earlier than we thought. Yes, way earlier, but who cares? We got a virtual queue. We did. I woke up at 7 a.m., got in that virtual queue. That alarm was brutal, but then for I realized what it was for, and I was like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> you remembered. Yeah. And what was the number we got? Oh, well, so you would think that like getting like the first group would be the ultimate because, you know, remember you guys got group one that time? We did for Rise of the Resistance, for Rise. me and Dylan and Michael. Um, you know, you would think that would be the most sought after, but for Haunted Mansion or anything related to that, we got group 13. What? And if you know what that is, let us know in the comments. <laughs> kind of, uh, you know, if you know Haunted Mansion and you know this park, then you know what that means and why. So we're very excited to, to get group 13. It's like meant to be. They've been doing a lot of construction over there. If you been under um you know a rock or something um <laughs> they've redone the whole queue well they're not done yet we'll yeah, see i don't know so they haven't finished the physical queue so that's why we have a virtual queue right now yeah um so i'm sure there's going to be walls and all kinds of things and we'll be sure to share as much with you as we can including the gingerbread house for 2024 can you believe I can't it wait yeah it's so um, weird yeah so that's going to be really exciting now the virtual queue because we were group 13 they called us right at eight o'clock in yeah. the morning so just be careful if you do have an early group get here be prepared to get here quick thankfully we live close are you ready let's go all right main street usa we're on our way to New Orleans Happening. Square. Yay. And you know what's crazy? As we're walking up here to New Orleans Square, I'm thinking about the fact that this is going to be decorated in fall and pumpkins really soon. Yeah. Like that's coming like probably within the next month. I wonder if they're going to set everything earlier based on the fact that Mansion's earlier. Well, it is happening earlier this year than last. Uh, I think it's the end of August is when it all starts. Okay. So. It'll definitely come earlier for sure in the overall scheme of things, you know? Oh, we got a nice paint job finishing up here, looks like. This side of Main Street's been, uh, you know, getting the touch-ups the porch earlier this summer. All right, who's that? Oh, it's Val. Oh. Good old Val. Good morning, Val. So I do want to let you know, by the way, once the virtual queue calls your party, you have 60 minutes. You have one hour to get back to the attraction. So. You know, just a little FYI there, because sometimes it's like, you never know. Yeah. But, so it's an hour. Just know. You got to hustle. Well, yeah, it's like a it's like a fast pass window. Yeah, pretty much. Or a, uh, what, I don't know what it's called now, but Lightning you know what pass, I mean. Lightning pass, lane, yeah, something. Sure. Yeah, that thing. To the mansion. We press on. Can you believe it's been since like... January what? or February. Yeah, end of January is probably the last time you and I were on... Probably. HMH. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the well, kids call it. Yeah, I forgot. It. I just now remembered it closed as Haunted Mansion Holiday. Right. And, you know, I know there's a lot of people that are like, I want the original Haunted Mansion. I get it. But for us, we're just having a good time. I like it. I, I think it's fun. Look. Half the year it's this, half I, the year it's that. I respect the fandom because I, at a time, was one of those people who was like, curse this Haunted Mansion Holiday. Yeah. Uh, I have since kind of turned a, it's not a new leaf because I've been doing it for a while now. <laughs> You've since uh, changed your ways, if you will. I've since changed my ways, which is not bizarre because, <laughs> you know, that's that's how life is. Things well, change. You yeah, gotta... and I think you just have fun with it. Like, yeah, you, you know, do. it's it's great. It's a fun overlay on the Haunted Mansion holiday. Yeah. We just, or Haunted Mansion. It's cool. You don't have to look at it too much into like Christmas or Halloween. You just have fun. Yeah. That's what it's about. And at the end of the day, I, honestly, if, if, if it is an issue, um, there's really not much you can really do. Either way, <laughs> I mean, right. They're, they're it's doing, happening no doing matter what. They're what they're going to do, yeah. yeah. Should I'm we just go just to Indy? Excited. It's only 25. Oh my gosh, no. Come on. I'm Haunted Mansion can you Holiday. Imagine? We just turned the video and went, you know what? Let's just, uh, I can't because I love Haunted Mansion. There's no way. I'm so excited. All right, first things first, we're going to head up to the Adventureland Treehouse. And I'm just kidding. Katie was like, she didn't even go I for that. I literally was like, she didn't even no. buy it. That is not happening. It was not a thing that was, uh, that you were. <gasps> I hit redeem on our thing. Oh, there it is. I can see the rooftop. There it is. It's going to be super interesting to see what, uh, what portions of that that they've opened, you know? Yeah. So crazy to think about and like the, how different it's going to look. You and know? the hearse is up front. It's so weird that the hearse is up front. It is weird. It's going to be very weird. I'm just, I'm like, 
just so excited because it brings back so much nostalgia. We've been doing this for so many years and yeah. it's just an exciting little tradition. Jack is back. I wonder, so they probably never messed with the inside. I, yeah, it kind of makes me wonder, like, did they even bother? And I that doubt it. Cut down I mean, the work. there's probably certain things they had to mess with. Yeah. But I think for the most part, they left that, took down the outside to so it didn't get messed up. Yeah. It wasn't to bluff us. It was just so that the stuff right. didn't get messed up. Right. Reset that in like, what, two days? And there it is, Haunted Mansion Holiday Virtual Queue. Welcome, foolish mortals. I like that. I'm so ready. Virtual Queue Group 13. 13 Haunted Mansion, thank you for that. There's both of them. Very appropriate. All right. Ah, I'm like, I'm like, it. I'm kind of like nervous almost. Like I'm shaking. It's crazy, dude. Aw, so exciting. Look at the new gates. You wouldn't think mm -hmm. they were new, but those are brand new gates. We saw this being built right there. That was so cool. Ready? All right. Whoa, Whoa this you. is so weird. It's so much bigger. Whoa, okay, so there's that tree. And there's the hearse. Wow. Look at that. How cool. I'm waiting for a Winnie. As we pan around, fountain right here. Obviously, we got a construction wall here still. Well, they did a good job with what I'm seeing here. This is amazing. Not hearing a horse whinny though, I'm a little concerned. Maybe that's not happening yet. All new walls over here. All these planters, it looks cool though. It's subtle, you might not ever know. And then where the hearse used to be is like the uh, fast pass area. All right, Pet Cemetery seems similar so far. I don't think they changed anything there. I think it's mainly this stuff here. Now here's the interesting part, because we're not going to get to go in the backyard, but you can still say hi to Stripey. What's up, Stripey? How are you hanging in there, buddy? Yeah, these guys are all very similar to me. Yeah. Hey, Rosie. See my shadow, me and Rosie. Uh, two of us. Thank you. When two holidays collide, going right in. Tell you a tale about dear Sandy Claus. December. Hello. I can't believe we're doing this right now.
Uh, the old torch wasn't lit. I'll be waiting to open my Christmas present for you back. Alright, this will be interesting. Walls, walls, walls. Alright, we just exited and uh, it's so weird having this uh, the way it is. Uh, but you know, that's the way it is right now. Um, see that? Pet cemetery back there. Oh yeah, you can kind of see. Let me just step up here. What's going on back there? Not really though. Anyways, this this new garden is interesting here. It's uh, really pretty. Yeah, it's you know there's a fountain right there. I there's like all the changes. You see that there's a little cat in that fountain. Aww. That's kind of neat. I like that. Uh, anyways, this planter is is all new. This is mm -hmm. kind of where, well, the hearse was like over there. But yeah, let's take a look at this stuff here. I like how they curved the that, that footing wall too for all the uh, they made a space they made a space for the uh, the conveyance vehicles like right there which is smart I like that. Do you notice there was um, some different stuff in the attic? I did. I was like, what? That kind of took me by surprise. I popped it in there so you can see it. Just to look again, I uh, I was like, oh my gosh, I I really did not expect that. She, and Katie then, was mouthing it to me. It's new. It's new. I was like, yeah, that's new. Yeah, because I never know, you know. I also you... noticed that the. Um, the gingerbread smell wasn't super strong yet. No. Maybe they're going to creep it in. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, yeah, um, I didn't smell it very much, but I also realized because it was kind of laying down and it wasn't as tall, it was kind of hard to get some footage of it because you really had to kind of look through the bars. We did kind of like reach up to look yeah. over. So I got a little bit of that, but I realized, yeah, it's definitely easier to do uh, when it's a taller gingerbread house, but I love the lighting effects on it. It looks really cool. All right, we came over to Fowler's uh, just across the way here to discuss the gingerbread house because it's a dead end. It's, it is a dead here. end over here. Wow, that's good. Uh, Sorry, I had to. No, you, you should have. If, if you didn't take that liberty, I would have not been happy. The gingerbread house is a Frankenstein's monster kind of take, obviously. We've got the, you know, the electricity going up. You see the lights going yeah. up to where the monster is. And I love that his head is interchangeable, like it switches. <laughs> yeah, you know? that is so cool. That's probably one of the coolest things. I definitely agree. Yeah. I think it's like, I think the only thing I would have liked it if it was a little taller, like in years past oh, when yeah. it's been taller, that kind of helps me because to of the see rail. it because of the railing. Yeah. However, I think you pointed out, it's kind of fun to look for it and it makes, it's writable again. So where you can kind of see yeah. new details every There's time. It's a little mystery to it because it's hard to see. Yeah. Uh, and you have to search for the details. Um, a I, bit. I think that's cool. Yeah. Also, yeah, I don't think that the smell was that prevalent, but maybe they're going to kind of creep it in as the, the holiday gets closer, which Could would make be. sense, yeah. right? Um, other than that, I thought it was a really creative approach. I, I to, really to like it. House, I think you know? it was fun. And the thing is, I expected a lot this year because they had so much time. Yeah. But then I also thought about it and I was like, well, maybe they didn't because they had so much work to do on the outside that still needs to right. be done. So I was like, well, okay, Katie, you need to lower your expectations a little bit. No, it'll be good because they always do such a good job with those gingerbread houses. Yeah. And like, yeah, it was great. I do noticed though there was a lack of the scent like i look yeah. forward to that nostalgic scent and it wasn't there it wasn't but uh it'll come in soon other than that uh i did notice some sound changes in the stretcher room I, there was added little details of little yeah. you know after the after the glass breaks there right. was like little clinking sounds like still going there was a few things like that, that there was I noticed. a few things too um mostly the attic that was like yeah way different even the right right when you come in on the right i thought it might have looked a little bit different i know you pointed out that like there was a foreground element in the uh graveyard is that what well i think the the in the graveyard i don't know and it could be you never know because it's been how many months yeah uh, it made me wonder if there was like more bows 
like it seemed like there was added like those colors details. of bows yeah, yeah it yeah. felt like that again it, sometimes the lighting changes sometimes it's just been you know a little bit of time I don't know, but uh, it even seemed like the graveyard had more orange lights when we right, came. Right, it had something. When we passed Hatbox, right. it seemed more. Now again, it could be that we haven't been there in so long yeah. that it's like, whoa, you know, you're you, yeah. you get stunned by it because yeah. you haven't seen it. Um, I was paying attention to the gingerbread house so long that I forgot to look at the Christmas tree, and I caught a shot of it. But it was like, oh yeah, the Christmas tree. I caught tree. a shot of and it, and then too, yeah. you know, headed into the hallway. But uh, yeah, it was it was cool. I. Um, you know, the, the graveyard looked the same to me, except for, like you said, some of those, like, weird little details. Yeah, it seemed like there was, um, like, bows in places where I don't remember there being bows, which sounds crazy. I yeah. also noticed right before you get to Oogie Boogie, there's a little, like, axe tree over there. And I got a really good, like, shot of it, as you can see here. It's lit very well, and I just love that little tree. That's cool. By the way, there's what they're working on, uh, what's behind that wall. Well, not yet. <laughs> but the wall that's there now, you know, that cuts through. Uh, that'll eventually be the exit through the gift shop. Wow, so, that's gonna be so cool. I can't wait. Okay, the, so- Look at this, the, the queue is now uh, starting to fill it. in. They've got the lines and- uh, So this is kind of taking the place of what we would have had back there, the little like back patio. The backyard, the yeah, for sure. Mark Twain's giving props. That house on the hill, that's wow. what they usually say. Yeah, he always, they say, the house on the hill is haunted and it is haunted. It is. But, so uh, while it may be obvious, the reason that they're doing the virtual queue is because there is no space because we only have the front yard and then this. Yeah. So that's why they're doing it. I think um, something else we wanted to point out too, um, I think I kind of touched on it when we were walking in, is like, yes, it is a little bit early, but we've already met one or two families who have mentioned to us that uh, they had a trip here around this time from the east coast they're from long island yeah and and it kind of worked out better for them that they're able to experience the haunted mansion so yeah i'm glad that they opened it earlier just for you right. know more people to get to experience and it you've, you've told you me know? that before too because you've, you've said like they're only here for a couple of days they're not going to come back and yeah. get to see this in the holiday they're not going to be back till next year so, right. so they were only the, here two days and they got to catch this and they were so excited and i was like you know what that's what this is all about yeah right there. and there are some people that um you know they really wanted to see the haunted mansion in its normal form yeah so it's more just to have it open in general i feel like most people if given the option would you rather have it closed or would you rather have it open with either or right most i feel like would give the op or would take the option of let's just have it open so we could go on it, you yeah. know? At the end of the day, it's a theme park and you hear people walk by and they're like, oh, it's closed? Oh, yeah, and they're bummed. Yeah, like, it's I, like now we get to hear people say, yay, it's open. How right. do I get a virtual queue now? What, what, right, right. what? Because that's a little confusing, but it's okay, it happens. And as we pointed out with the sign before, I do like that they have the virtual queue QR code yeah. right here, readily available. So anybody who's confused or anything, they can join. And as of when we got in the park, the virtual queue was still open and that was at like 8.15. So that's kind of a good thing. Now, maybe it won't be so bad. Well, maybe once the word gets out, that might change. We'll have that to see. That could, yeah, yeah. Hard to say. Yeah, the queue's filling up. Oh yeah. But it's still not too bad. No. Like I've, we've seen it definitely like much worse. Having this narrow path is okay because there's really nothing past here. So there's I can't no reason wait to be to... wandering over here at all. I can't wait to see it at night. All right. So remember when I said I was going to wait to pass judgment about that tree? Well, it's just kind of, it's a bummer from this angle, but, and these, these umbrellas are only for the virtual queue. So those would be temporary, but it ruins the long shot. I don't know. That's just my maybe opinion. Once, what do you guys think? Maybe once this wall is down and you step to the side, oh, I see it'll what you be mean. a little bit Oh, that better. makes sense. Okay. I think it's just because we have walls and all that You're stuff. You're right. All right, so I'm going to hold judgment then again. Hold, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait. Hold. I jumped the gun. I got excited. Too the mansion's excited. open, dude. What are you? It's like, I'm like, okay, get the Magnolia Parker. Let's, let's do it. Crazy. <laughs> all right, back into Nolan Square, Walls Square. Katie was wondering if they're going to decorate this. Uh, for the for the holidays because we haven't had a tiana's palace halloween yet yeah we haven't so uh normally they put up those you know those uh black and white striped bows that are like very jack and sally friendly yes there was something else we didn't mention was the um the fact that the stretching room still has the hanging element at the end yes yeah that was something that i was kind of nervous to see it like 
Now, again, it's not what's in the original Haunted Mansion, but a lot of people were kind of thinking like, oh, they're going to take it out. That would have been the easiest one to take out because it's a video element. Right. They would, could have easily taken that out with knowing that, you know, they were going to take the other, the physical one out. Exactly. In the future, right? Yeah, so yeah. I think I think that means we're we're good, but I don't know. Who knows? You just I never know. I feel like it's like 99%. I'm saying we're good. I think so too. Yeah, I don't think there's much to worry about. Um, but I think what we should worry about is Haunted Mansion merch. Yes, Haunted Mansion holiday merch. Man, you know these these lighting elements, by the way? Don't know if I've ever like said what's up to these, but they remind me of like the old LA street lamps a little bit. They're kind of inspired, but I don't know. Those are neat. They're like acorns. So Pirates is down for refurb, and it's uh, that's maybe another reason they opened this up. Um, because, man, there'd be no reason to be over here, huh? We're over okay. ear at the ear rack. I gotta film these. Oh, these are glow them. in the dark. These are new for this year. I actually love. I like the bow because it's got purple in it. You I see that? I love it. Yeah, it's got like little kind of hue of some purple. Yeah, it's weird. It's hard to, if you move it around a little, yeah, you can see that there's purple. And it glows in the dark. Well, I think even the bow might glow in the dark. I don't know, but I think the green oh, for sure. Oh, maybe that's, oh, interesting. Maybe it's like a glow element. A bow in the dark. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I can't. I'd just be here all week. These are definitely oh, new for this year. The yellow and the, I don't know. I like them. I like that they're a little more simple and they're a little less yeah. like busy. You know how yeah, sometimes yeah. they kind of add too much and yeah. it's like, okay. Well, because if you did a yellow, an orange or a white shirt, it would all kind of yeah, go. Yeah, so and like. Cool. If you look at them with some of the, the other pairs of this year's ears. They stand out. They do. They look good. I think this was, they did a really good job for this year's uh, Halloween ears. And I'm sure there's going to be a couple more pairs, but at least right here we can see uh, some of the new ones. And I like them. I think they're really cute. So these are a repeat from a few years ago. Yeah, I remember those. They brought these back, which I have them and I never wear them because they sit really funny on my head. They like stick out and it makes me look like I have like a weird kind of like pin head. All right, these are uh, Jack Skellington. I thought they were light up ones, you know, the disc. They look like the, they have that same like plastic like plexi, whatever. Plexi, but they're not, I think they're trying to make some that are more um, for people that don't want a bow because some people don't. And I like it. I think that's a great one. No, I think it's great. I think it's cool because again, like, you know, I think another thing is too, a lot more, um, I'd say just, yeah, a lot more people are trying to wear ears and a lot just don't want to have a bow. Yeah. They you know? don't want to necessarily have that vibe. They want to just, Yeah, you and know. I might just add a bow myself. I mean, I like kind of, this is a bow kind of, you know? Yeah. I'm like, no. No, she's like, no. Not at all. I want a really pretty bow. <laughs> okay, okay. Now these are not for Halloween, although they kind of work for the season because it's a villain. I like it. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit um, kind of sad because I'm thinking about I know. Fantasmic and how we don't have our dragon, but it's still cool. At least we'll keep her alive. And again, it does We work. have her alive in the form of merchandise. It does work for villains. Do you smell it? You don't, do you? Because the, the, the door to pirates is not open, so we don't get the pirate water smell over here right now. But wow, it's okay because we're gonna go look inside to see if we can find some merch. Oops. And we're specifically looking for HMH merch. Merch. Okay, this. Oh, that's cool. Mansion. Well, I would just say Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, that works, right? Oh, I see the collar. I didn't even see the collar. The collar is cool. I, like I actually that. like that. It's really soft. Yeah. Oh. I would say just Nightmare Before Christmas, but also could work for Haunted Mansion Holiday. I love how it's like. Uh, very like um i don't know it's just pretty sparkly we also have this dress and it's funny it's listed on a price here oh that must be for the ears i thought it was 34. i was like there's no way this is such a pretty flowy dress i love it we also have these ears from last year so it looks like they made a return those are from last year last year i don't know when one could wear this because oh it's, it's a christmas sweater yeah it's but it's christmas so sweater. um <laughs> It's so hot. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Same thing with this beautiful sweater. I love the Sally signature right here and then the Jack signature. That's pretty cute. Star Cross Lovers. I like the big buttons, yeah. There's the spirit jersey. We've shown you that. It's uh you know, got the logo on the back and then these are the new ones we've also showed you, but you may not have seen our um, other merch video, but these are the interchangeable. You can flip take it around. you can flip the bow off and you could Put it on the front of basically yeah it's like an interchangeable bow that's really cool so yeah there you go and it'll look like that it's like reversible yeah the reversible bow but it's really nice i love all the details on it i think these this is a great pair of ears 
The only thing is, is that they've really increased the price of a lot of these ears, so it's kind of like, Ehh. but if you are going to invest in a pair, this is a cute one. Like to model this new hat here, it's uh... This might be the weirdest looking hat I have ever seen at a Disney park. It is, like, look down so that I can see. That's the brim. That is the weirdest thing. It is a choice. It's very weird because I could, it's like the way it comes. Yeah, let me see what the vision is. There it is. That is very weird. What do you think of it? Is it worth $29.99 before your Magic Key discount? I guess if you're into it, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's not very functional. But it looks so funny from festive. the back. Hold on, look out. <laughs> And this is that good backpack we found in World of Disney oh, that yeah. we love. We were like, this is so much better it's than the It's got the, the lining and the fancy zipper and all that. They put more effort into that. And I think it's cheaper than a lounge fly. Yeah. We showed this shirt in World of Disney as well, but it's a good one. All hail to the Pumpkin King. I've already seen a lot of people wearing this to kind of celebrate today. Uh, this I haven't seen, the classic. Yeah. It's weird that it's just in a box. I feel like, I feel like this is the same person that designed that weird partner statue shirt. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not digging it. I like how soft it is, and I like the Nightmare Before Christmas on the sleeve. But yeah, I kind of wish it wasn't. It's like these elements are like, I don't know. It kind of looks cheap. It does. Sorry. I have to be honest. All right. We're taking a look at uh, the refresh over here at the Pirates. They're doing uh, prepping all the rails for paint, getting her shiny and ready. It's like a boat. You got to constantly keep keep her up keep her seaworthy katie so i was thinking about that virtual queue i don't know if that virtual queue is going to get more intense now that people know that it's open yeah Do you know well, what i mean I, like my, today today doesn't really count my hope is that it will uh change and be done with the virtual queue before um the start the official start of the halloween season which oh, okay. is this date right here yeah so it's almost like it's a sneak peek right now and you know what i mean you could call it that yeah a sneak peek with a virtual queue and again we met another family that oh uh, yeah they even said like hey i'm so glad the haunted mansion opened because we're only we here wouldn't have been able to see it right and he said his wife was super stoked and uh yeah so there's a lot to be said about that and yeah. uh you know the people that are you know getting too crazy about it like being open as haunted mansion holiday right like just let it be and i used to be, be that way but like now I'm just kind of like, you know what? It doesn't matter. And You're in really... this case, it could have been closed for a whole nother month. So oh, it's great. I'd easily. rather it be open way early than right. people miss out. Yeah. The other thing I'm curious about is how many groups are they going to like end up doing per day? Like I'm curious yeah. to see how many, you know, how like Me too, because how Rise has like yeah, there's only another... a certain amount that they can get through, you know. Yeah. Um, I wonder how many mansion will, will cycle through on an average day because that ride doesn't break down that much. There's also another virtual queue at 12 o'clock. Oh, okay. And you have to be in the park for that one. Oh, that's right. That's what you were saying. And Disneyland has to be your starting park. For the 7 a.m. one. For the yeah. 7 a.m., yeah. If you want to be in the 7 a.m. virtual queue, Disneyland has to be in your starting park, and then you just have to be scanned in to either or if uh, 12 o'clock is uh, the virtual queue you're going for. The other thing is, like, you know, the nights when it's open till midnight, you have a better chance because there's going to be more Heck yeah. virtual queues. And unlike Rise, that, that attraction stays open till the park closes. Right. Usually. Yeah. So I don't know how the virtual queue thing's gonna work. Maybe they'll shut it down early. I don't I have no yeah. idea. Um, It'll be interesting to see. Yeah, it will. Beat Alicia just flew by. There's been a lot of Beat Alicia sightings lately. And if you know who Beat Alicia is, uh, Beat Alicia, she's been ever present lately. It's the summer of Beat Alicia. It's the summer of Beat Alicia. Anyways, thanks to our Patreons. Thank you for watching Haunted Mansion Holidays back. Yay. Bye bye, everybody. Yay.